massive grain silos damaged in a powerful blast exactly two years ago, just collapsing Thursday in Beirut. Fires had been smoldering here for weeks. The structures came crashing down as crowds marched in the Lebanese capital, marking the second anniversary of the deadly port explosion. More than 200 people were killed and thousands hurt in the disaster that heavily damaged the city. This was one of the largest non-nuclear explosions ever. It felt at first like an earthquake, and then the sound came. It, well, it was very scary. Speaking to Omni News from Beirut this week, Tatiana Hazruti says she was asleep when her home was rocked and windows shattered. Her father had already gone to work at the port that day, never to return. It took the authorities 14 days to find my dad. It wasn't until the 18th of August that they called my brother, telling him that his and my father's DNA matched and he should go to the hospital to take his body. Hasruti, like so many in Lebanon, are demanding justice and accountability. The explosion was caused by a huge stockpile of ammonium nitrate kept at the site and neglected since 2013. While several senior officials have been accused in the disaster, none has been held responsible. The legal process stalled for months under a cloud of corruption and a deepening political and economic crisis. And now calls continue to grow for an international investigation. The UN Secretary General tweeting Thursday, we are now marking two years since the horrific disaster. Two years, he says, without justice. And he's renewing his push for what he wants to see, and that is an impartial, thorough, and transparent investigation into the explosion. Melissa Duggan, City News.